The moment of truth. The grand total for everything in this office comes to. What's the deal? Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and join me on this Project Dirty Challenge. Challenge where I upload 30 videos in 30 straight days. Today is day four, and I'm actually giving you guys a true, honest, respectful office tour. I'm also going to tell you how much I spent to put together this whole entire office here because after looking at the numbers, it's just the things that are in here. And I think <laughs> let's, get, let's get right into it. The first category we're talking about is art because I actually added a lot of art pieces in here that I wasn't able to show you guys on my previous videos. So first and foremost, the big wall. The big wallpaper was one of the biggest additions as far as art goes into this office. I didn't want to keep the wall white. I actually wanted to paint this wall, but I don't, it's, a, I ran, I don't want to like change shit, alter and, you know, man the video. So like wallpaper was like the next best decision as far as adding a splash of color in here. It ran me 65 bucks total for about six to seven rolls. Originally, I only ordered two rolls and I was only able to get two like vertical rows of wallpaper done it. So I had to go back and order like two more sets, two more orders of wallpaper just to fill the whole wall. So 65 bucks for wallpaper. The next big like art piece addition that I added here was actually this tapestry. This tapestry is made by Mark the Label. It's, it was $85 for the tapestry. Uh, it's a Jordan one kind of like Chicago ish like heritage piece towards you know, Mike and like the Jordan went shoe and when it first released and whatnot. This was like my favorite, favorite piece that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Uh, it was pretty dope. I actually had this folded halfway up on the couch and I left the couch bare, but like the dogs get out here and gets all dusty and whatnot. So like, I, I unfolded it, left it down so I could see the full entire piece. You know, there's Jordan one logo down here. Michael Jordan, like silhouette here, but like your, your real airness here. So it's pretty dope. Uh, so yes, wallpaper was 65. The tapestry was $85. Alright, so now we're gonna get into the small art figures that I actually have everywhere around this room. The first things first are these six cost figures. These are the first things I actually got for this office. I got these for $94 off Amazon. I think it was a good investment. I have a place just about everywhere around here. Some up top of my windowsill and the small little cubby section over here. I used to have these right in front of here on in front of my monitor, but I didn't just it was too much of these around. So I kind of placed them like kind of sporadically around the room, but $94 for the cost figures. Next on this says we have two items from Super Plastics. The first is the art piece collaboration with the Ben Staples. This is actually extremely dope. This was a Christmas gift along with Ned's item as well, but this ran $110 here for the first art piece. The second item for Super Plastics is the Shoe Dog, which was $95. And this is equally as dope. I like this because it has a cement colorway on it. You guys know Steve's in the cement shoe, whatever. But yes, $95 for the Shoe Dog and $110 for the Vid Staples collaboration piece with Super Plastic. So the next two smaller items I have are actually some of my favorite items too. But the first is the Michael Jordan Pop. This is like really, really, really dope. You guys know I'm a Bulls fan. Michael Jordan is my go. So of course you guys know I had to get the Funk Pop Michael Jordan. This actually was only $16 off Amazon as well. This was the lot 54. I don't know what that actually means. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But Michael Jordan fuck pot. And the second piece was actually a surprise gift from my girlfriend. She actually surprised me with this Travis Scott sock plant holder. This was $34 off Etsy. I recommend you guys really get a lot of art pieces from Etsy. Super dope. It's, and things you like probably wouldn't find on like a regular art website or like street art that's like not regularly sold everywhere else. Like you find the places to get stuff on Instagram and stuff, but this is off Etsy, $34 and it ships extremely fast. So. Trying to stop flat holder for $34. Now you guys know I'm a big fan of the cause art and the cause figures. Well, I actually picked up this cause pink decorative book off stock ads for $60. It has like the history of all the cause work where all the art works and like all the graffiti pieces have placed that upon the world. Um, I think as of recent, I'm not too sure how far it goes back, but up to recent date, but this cause book was $60 off stock ads. And while we're on the topic of cause, let me take this direction towards candle artwork now. I lived it with a friend of mine from Instagram. He runs his own decorative home decor company. He actually sent me this glow in the dark cause candle. It's sixteen dollars on his website. It's super dope. It does actually glow in the dark too. It's hella dope. Uh, the sixteen dollars for the cause candle, and also from his company while we're on candle artwork, he sent me the Jordan Four Pink candle. He sent me two of them. This is just one of them. I have the other one up there somewhere. Uh, but this was $28 on the website. So again, the cloth candle, $16. Okay. 
The Jordan 4 pink candle is $28, but I have two of them. Now, the last two pieces of this art segment hold a good spot right here in my heart. Uh, but it's these two drip bears, actually really, really cool. They kind of resemble bear bricks a little bit, but they're not, for everyone in life, they're not bear bricks. They're drip bears. If you guys want them, they are 60 bucks individually, so 120 for both of them. Go ahead and follow the drip bear on Instagram. It's an Australian based company. They'll send you the bear bears. They're blank, they come white. They can send you a bunch of paying guys and go ahead and create them however you like. I enjoyed this process a lot because it's just a fun like DIY process or DIY event to do at home. You guys want to have like an event with people over you guys can have a bunch of these out of the house and just go ahead and get to paint and this shit is pretty dope. But the drip bears are the last two items on this list. Now let's move into furniture. There's not a lot, but let's move into furniture. The first thing I wanna show you guys is the mini bridge. I picked this up from Walmart for $129. It's the crib bling mini bridge. I do like it because it's like just big enough to hold a certain amount of drinks, but it's not overly big. It's not too small to where I can only put a couple of drinks in there. So the crib bling mini bridge was $129. I also wanna show as a prank stool. The prank stool was a gift from my girlfriend as well. It was $311 off StockX. Do I necessarily need this? No, it is a good piece for me to use if I need to get up tall in my closet because you guys know I am short, but it's also like a nice stable piece to put in this corner right here. All right, so next is the futon. I picked this up from Walmart for 155 bucks. I think this was the best investment out of everything in here. It turns into a full bed. I haven't had to sleep on it just yet. So that means I'm doing a good job as a boyfriend, but it's really comfortable. My girlfriend likes to come sit in here, watch TV whenever I'm working or just to come kick it. The dogs like to come here and just lounge and sleep whenever they want to be near me, but not bother me. So futon from Walmart for one fifty five. Those two shelves from Target for fifty five dollars. I didn't want to make like a whole thing about it. So yeah, shelves for fifty five each. Now on to the best part of the room, the shoe wall. I would have felt it would have been too clickbaity if I added the expenses of the shoes to like the price of all this, but I will do the containers because I'm not going to do the shoes. Let's get them. So the shoe containers I got from the container store, a roll of six containers, which they sell in sets of six cost $54, but I have four rows of them. So for 24 containers, I spent $324. I think it was worth it. I think it's a nice setup. It's nice and structured. It's clean and organized outside of this here, but. I'm keeping these because I have things in all. I have like shoelaces in here and stuff like that. All right, so the last two pieces in the furniture segment are both my desks. These are actually the most expensive items in this whole office. Uh, but I got these two desks from Plessy Spot. I actually did a campaign for them a couple months back where they sent me two desks. The E7 desk is $523 and the one desk is $498. So collectively, upwards of $1,000 for both these desks. Uh, they're electronic, so they rise on their own with drop on their own the button. No, 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 I'll get the gist. Uh, but yeah, I did a campaign for the couple months ago. They actually sent me both of these desks for free, which is dope. So shout out, bless the spot. So that concludes the furniture segment. All right. So the last segment of this office tour is my tech setup. For everything that's like on my desk, we're going to get this started off with my MacBook Air. This is the 2020 M1 chip version that ran $999. It was probably the best investment ever made. This laptop alone is what actually got me started working in Premiere Pro, which has produced all my videos for the past like year. So the MacBook Air is my baby. I'll never ever get rid of this. Even if I do upgrade, I'm still gonna keep this for keepsake. I run two external monitors that I picked up off Amazon for $229 each. I preferably like the vertical and horizontal style setup. I do not want to run a PC. That's just my purpose. I don't game. I don't need a PC for anything until I get back into gaming again, if I ever do. Uh, so the laptop and external monitor setup works best for me. Next, we have the Blue Yeti microphone I picked up from Best Buy for $129 and the Bolt Arm Stand that I also got from Best Buy for $70. So this was upwards of $200 for this whole arm microphone set up here. I have two sets of these desk arms here that came out to $47 each off Amazon. I don't know why I got two. I ordered one originally and then forgot I had one, so I ordered a second one. So $47 for both of these bad boys here. All right, so the moment of two. The grand total for everything in this office comes to $5,103.25. So over the span of four months, it took me five grand to get everything in here, which is not that bad when you come to think about it in a way. A lot of this stuff was free. Some of this stuff was gifts. Some of this stuff came from campaign. Some of my campaigns paid for some of this stuff too. So it's a win-win. I still want to get a new rug in here. I still also want to get a neon light clip right here as well. So I still have more additions, but five bands for a whole office like this, I am completely satisfied with. So. To close this video out here, if you guys enjoyed seeing all the crap that went into this office, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, 
drop a comment and tell me what your favorite piece is in here. And let's continue on the journey of Project 30. This is day four. It's your boy Dave, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Come back.